we as a country in India lack human resources in healthcare as well as infrastructure. Urban healthcare, rural healthcare, people who cannot afford healthcare, we've seen disparity uh, in how healthcare is delivered and how healthcare is consumed in India. Only technology can be used to kind of bridge this gap. Uh, that is where our journey of Dozi started. In cars, we use a lot of sensing technology in race cars, right? Sensing technology to monitor health of the vehicle while we are pushing it to the limit. So idea was simple. So while we are doing this continuous health monitoring of vehicles which are running on more than 300 kilometers per hour, idea was that why can't we do it for humans as well? That's exactly where me and Mudit uh, took it up as a challenge and as a vision to kind of make something, a system, a product, a process to be able to uh, collect data very easily that can be done by anybody and anywhere. The core technology that we started working on was called ballistocardiography. So we capture the vibrations that the human body produces and through the mattress when a person is lying, we capture these in our sensors that go under the mattress. We analyze these vibrations and extract meaningful biomarkers, heartbeats, respiratory cycles, non-contact blood pressure now body movement, sleep analysis, uh, to a lot, it's, it's almost equivalent of a health checkup and all you have to do is just lie down on your mattress. We have two versions of the product, Dozy for home and Dozy for hospitals. Uh, Dozy for home is a more simplified version. Uh, it comes with a very thin sensor sheet that goes and it's very unobtrusive in nature. It goes under the mattress of the individual. It can work with any mattress that is available in the market based on their own baseline that we update and we create, whether their data is within the baseline or not, and if not, what is the severity? Uh, and if there needs to be an alert that is generated to the healthcare professional or not. So it's a daily process that's done and a protocol that's followed. On the hospital front, the product is much more robust in nature because it's supposed to be for industrial use. Uh, so this is exactly where we have bigger sensor sheets because again, the variability of the patient is too much in the hospital bed can recline as well. So to cover a larger area so that we are not missing the patient when the patient has reclined the bed. Here, there are alerting systems that work on a real-time basis uh, and not really on a daily basis because uh, here the patients are at higher risk and that's where the triaging and alerting and early warning happens on a real-time basis rather than on a daily basis. COVID really accelerated our plans. We wanted to ensure that, you know, Dozy is there and the way we help it is that we convert any bed into a step-down ICU. So on, on the 19 lakh hospital beds uh, that I mentioned of which are not ICU beds, uh, and general ward beds, depending on the hospital protocol, a nurse has to manually collect these vital signs every four to six hours. This is nearly not enough for critical care outreach. And this is exactly where Dozy comes in and solves the problems in two ways. One, automates and digitizes and makes data collection super easy on a continuous basis. In case of COVID particularly, uh, where a nurse doesn't have to go every time, every four to six hours inside the ward to just to collect vital signs. They only have to go in now for delivering care, delivering medicines and uh, for interventions. Uh, we worked with army, we worked with state governments, right? And within a matter of days, we erected, uh, you know, entire hospitals which were centrally monitored. Uh, nurses' workload was much lesser, so much lesser nurses were required to monitor the entire wards and all of that, right? So that is how digitization uh, role of AI, it comes into picture, especially when, you know, the infrastructure has gone for a test. Uh, before Dozy, I was just a problem solver. Uh, I, I used to love solving problems, beat any problem. Uh, now, change the major change that I've gone through uh, is essentially that I've realized uh, how uh, we can create this difference through technology. The kind of challenges that India faces are unique to us because of the scale. 
uh, because of the variety of issues, the variety of uh, conditions, variety of people as well, different languages, different backgrounds and so on and so forth. If we solve, if we make a solution to solve for this, it can work anywhere else as well. So solution made for somewhere else may or may not work in India, but a solution made in India definitely will work everywhere else.